it's all back behind the play. Ralphie suddenly makes a recovery because the footy's headed his way from Ridley. So he gets a possession, brings Martin in, who gives to Corbwell. The goals are there. Peter Wright gets a free kick with a goal to be played. It will, that's three in a row to the Bombers. They've scored a little bit, a few goals just to make the score line look a little bit more respectable. And good to see Joy. So the Dogs have met the challenge in this third term. The Bombers look to rally. Great fly over the top from Wright. Corbwell, brushed through a couple. Hands going to... No, he doesn't get it back, Dre, but changed his mind. Guelphy, right. He's had a dirty day. That might have gone all the way. And they did so well at the first half. And yet... It fell right away after half-time. <laughs> How that managed to get yeah. through, I'll never... Made it look easy. I've started his career much better. Noah Cumberland, he's a beauty. 16th goal, this is just game number eight. And putting a foot roll as a free kick advantage is going to be paid, and Stringer's going to line it up from outside 50. That's what the Bombers wanted. Jake Stringer gets the first for Essendon. Coming out the front of the stoppage, out of the front of the centre square, and then a great finish by Jake Stringer. We know how much of a barometer he is for this Essendon side. Hands to Redmond, on the march, from just outside the arc, beautiful. He's near you and he looks like he wants to receive the ball, you have to go and man him up. That's just a lapse in concentration once again from North Melbourne. Jake Stringer, for his first goal of the night and he's nailed it, look at that, he's off the way back to the bench, before it even got up. Way. He was running to the bench. Extraordinary from Stringer. Okay. He had full confidence. Hodgie, have a look at this. And as soon as he's kicked it, he's gone charging. He, he barely made contact with the ball. I think he got to the bench. Parker. Can he do something for his side? Hind to land the knockout blow. <laughs> Bang, there she is. Wow. The Bombers are going to get home. Draper takes prime position. Oh, Draper, a Redman! <laughs> you can't catch him! You know, it could be the final critical contest. He just pushed him out of the way. The old-fashioned strength piece. Opportunity abounds. Heppel to the wing. Guelph is outnumbered there. There was so much going on. Hard to know whether the whistle should have blown or not. Guelphie passed the second time. Smith needed no invitation. Archie Perkins. They know it's there. And the rapture spreads around Marvel Stadium. Spikes a ripple as well. Look at all the young guys from both teams being today. 11 players from either side under 50 games. Fantastic work. Got incredible talent. So you'd be very excited if you're... Henry tracked it down. Oh, just about blew a tyre as that one gives Essen an opportunity. Stewart to try and cut across, but Cox to shield. And Nick Martin, imagine that! Wasn't even an AFL player at Christmas. And here he is kicking goals. And Smith, Parrish will reload again. Outside of the foot. Ham, outsized. Guelphie in the right spot. Gives it across to the man. He's already kicked one in his first game. And Nick Martin's got two. And there's a bright spot for Essen and fans. That is fourth possession in a minute here, Darcy Parrish. He's got the big boy Peter Wright out in front. Spreads it wide. This is better by Essendon. Running into an open goal for three. Oh, that is very nice. He's the highlight of the day for the Bombers is Martin. He's got three. Leverage by Parrish. Wobbles it in there. Can they get Baldwin a goal? Oh, no. oh he's going to kick his fourth. The dancing feet of you don't mind. There's a new man in town! Forget Dusty! Three! Ah, he's 26 disposal. Good tackle from Baldwin. Oh, advantage paid. Smith, he's ready! He's going to get a high five! Nick Martin! An extraordinary day! Ah, 
hard to believe. We're down to the last five minutes. And it's a five-point margin. Draper the tap and Merritt involved to get the clearance. Straight lines ahead. Corbwell from 50. Oh, what a response! The Bombers come up traps again. Done it again here with a man who has played a ripping game of footy. Enjoy Caldwell. 25 disposals. Kicked an important goal here for the Bombers. His direct opponent all day has been Lockie Neal, who's had the 18. Super effort from Caldwell. The most challenging of circumstances as well has been first class. Unfortunately for him, spent a, a fair bit of time in the rehab. Holding, advantage. Advantage being played, and this is a bit of a magic moment on cue, Michael Hurley. And he's going to kick a drop punt rather than around the corner like everyone else. He's got a smile on his face walking in. Can Hurls do it? Yep. He slides it home, Michael Hurley, and the Hurley family, they're going off. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Something to get excited about for Essendon fans and one of the great characters. So much respect and look at the Richmond players getting around him as well. As to the degree and the seriousness of the injury that he came, has come back from and it is great to see the teammates and the celebration in his family have been through the ups and downs of his career and so have the supporters too and they've been incredibly loyal. The intensity of Essen has been excellent this last five or ten, led by a couple of young blokes, but that little, that bit of play there to create this opportunity, excellent. Peter Wright from miles out launches a huge bomb at the MCG. The Bombers have got three on the trot. Been able to finish. The other thing that helps is, is turning the ball over in your front half. Big. So it'll be interesting. 52 tackles last week for the Bombers in total. Going well early days, and perhaps Peter Wright can add another to his tally. All from set shots. Bombers away. That's our five. It's deep inside 50. Might send it in that direction. Does now. Chance for Wright, gets a break on Scrimshaw at full stretch, sticky hands. Set shots, they're his thing, he's got a couple. Walks by goal. About an hour before the bounce that he'd been playing. Still the medical sub yet to get a run. Shield somehow found his man. Wanted Heppel, got him. Down the line it goes. Baldwin off a chest. Ricochets to Caldwell. There's bombers out here. One of them is Shield. Devin Smith runs one way. Peter Wright is chosen. Distance shouldn't be a problem. Nineteen goals for the year. All of them set shots. Umpire does not move. Plenty of chapters to it. Martin looks about the place. And to his left, he goes again towards full forward. Peter Wright! The big margin was 25 points. It's five now. Four straight for Peter. Well tackled, Warple by Redmond. High, and you know he loves to run. Could have been a free kick. Redmond through the corridor. This is Archie Perkins. Goes back to Paris. Wright's come up at the foot. He's done it all night, the big man. Free kick play on. He's going to take it. Big two metre Peter. Open goal square. Can he slide it home? It's bouncing. It's there. <laughs> this is just a, a really classy finish from a guy of his height, Darcy. We talk about his set shots. But to, to get that on the run and then have the composure and then just put it to the to the goal square, that that is a very, very good finish for a guy of his size. I feel like this is reward for effort for the big man. Thank God. Left foot snap, Peter Wright, goal number six. Richmond 
in eighth spot with an easy run home, really, compared to many of the other contenders. Draper wants to put an end to all this. Hands it over to Guelphie. Draper wants it back. The brush off runs into space. Outside of the boot. And Tyson, he sliced him. He diced him. At the moment of the match, this bloke, he is a fascinating player. He's just got such great self-belief.